Okay, this is my 2015 F-150 5.0. The intake manifold cover is leaking oil, so I will be taking the cover off and replacing the gasket. Now, as you can see here, I started taking some things off already. I suggest uh, taking that, unplugging this plug, unplugging that plug, and then unplugging your four coil plugs. And there's four plugs here. I would unplug them and take the wire off here off the ground and unplug off the top of the throttle body and the throttle body plug and the two sensors here on top of the top of the uh, cover. And that will allow you to move the wiring harness out of the way. And I'm almost ready to pull the coils out and then start loosening the bolts for the cover. Okay, after some time here, finally got uh, my coolant lines out of the way, trying to make sure they didn't leak. Um, created a little plug there um, and a plug over there for that one. As you can see right there and a plug for that one and those are my homemade clamps to uh keep the coolant from coming out of the pipe so now i can get on to taking the manifold cover off so yep Okay, I kind of like didn't show the process here. Um, I got the new the cover back on. I replaced all the. Let me get this light here. I replaced all these rubbers for the solenoids, and I put new rubbers in where the coils go, and got all the bolts, the valve cover bolts in, tightened down properly, and now it's time to connect the ground wire on the back side of the cover. Um, I'll show you down here. So, somewhere right there, there's a little bolt that is for the grounding. It's where I'll attach the ground wire. Time to hook all the wiring back up and uh, hook all the coolant hoses back up. So bear with me here for a few minutes while I plug in some plugs.
Okay, well, there you have it. I have all the wiring hooked up, all the coolant heater hoses hooked back up, and all the wires are plugged in, bolts are tightened down, plug is plugged in, and I think we're about ready to test it. See if, uh, yeah, everything's good. On a side note here, all your uh, valve cover bolts are a 10 millimeter. All your uh, spark plug coils, that's an eight millimeter bolt. There's an eight millimeter nut on the back for the ground wire. There's a 10 millimeter bolt here for the a nut for the ground wire on the front. Um, and then it was inside there was two eight millimeter bolts for each solenoid. I also replaced those. Um, so yeah, I'm anxious here to get it back running and make sure everything works. Well, she's running. So far, all good. No leaks. Yet. 